the back? No. Can I get this in the Esther. Uh, where are you at? Okay, good. Very good, thank you. Um, he's gone away to see if he can get uh, a line to somebody in his caucus to find out what he thinks. No, sorry, what he's allowed to say. Um, so, um, and we're waiting. This was not the meeting that I anticipated. Um, and I also told him that you're, you came very peacefully with legitimate concerns. I've told him that, uh, that, uh, uh, that from the standpoint of you've asked me to, uh, to confirm a document, that I need confirmation on some points, and that I want, and, and that what I am prepared to do is take this directly to the minister. I'm up in Ottawa on Tuesday. I know your time lines. And I understand that. What are you taking a position on? It, is the question. What are you telling that, the minister? That some people want this, but you don't think it's a good idea, or you think this is a good idea? What well, is we, your call? We, we come back to that point, and and my call is that uh, there's some aspects of this that I've, I that I'm asking for more information, and uh, from our government, so that I can come back and give you a genuine response on this. But why do you? Well, I mean, what information are you looking for specifically? What point is it exactly? Well, we've we can do a circle on this, and Corey, I'm not trying to to, to be argumentative at all. But I think we've made it clear. Yeah, that you have. About your you, you're, no, no, your position is really clear, and and, and, and I, your <coughs> government's position is very clear. Well, but to be fair, if, 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 I mean, you're asking me to take a position against what you say is against my government, mm -hmm. and 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 what I'm saying to you is, give me the opportunity to talk to my government about this position, because I know you have done the research that you have done, and I'm asking you to, to give me that same courtesy. Maybe we could take this opportunity to get someone from Amnesty on the phone. I don't, think that's, I don't think that serves a purpose. That's not the Conservative government. No. And, and the, the folks that They'd I want to speak to... they take a position and they could certainly they educate could, you. You, well, did did you, you, you said you needed information. They, they, they're in the business of gathering in, uh, information. And, and, and I would suggest to you uh, that uh, our government uh, isn't uh, taking positions blindly. I'd like to understand what uh, their rationale is. I don't think your position is that you want me to take this to my government. That's what I actually thought you wanted me to do. I, that's not what you want I me want to do. I want you to take that's a position. What, that's right. That's exactly mm -hmm. what you do. And I'm telling you, if I, if I just to be respectful, that I'm not prepared to take that position tonight. So you've, you've had the ample time to research those, and you've well, chosen not to. No, do, do, no I, I think that's, I think that's, that's not appropriate. And, and uh, it's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and you know we what? We haven't had a, a reply from the minister or from the prime minister or from you. Um, but, I'm, but I'm prepared, though, to take this right to the minister, unless, unless you don't want me to. Mm -hmm. Please do. But, okay, uh, then, the, I will. The, the, the then I will. Then I will. We're, and we'll, we'll wait here for the answer. But the point is, you've had time. This still wasn't sprung on you today. You and your government have had time, ample time to react. And they haven't budged from their position, which is it's somehow this man's fault that his child is going to There's countries reacting all over this world. We really feel that a humanitarian crisis like this has to take precedent over everything else that's happening when people are dying, when children are dying. I'm going to take this directly to the minister. And you know what? Uh, I will, I will be, if that's what you want me to do, mm -hmm. yes, but, I, but I'm not prepared to make a comment uh, until I, any further comments about that until such time. I'm just asking for that as a courtesy. And well, we're you, prepared to wait. Why has not Canada not followed uh, Venezuela and Bolivia's lead and some other countries' lead I, I in said, breaking I, I, relations? I, I said, I said, because uh, I have not heard that uh, that they had uh, broken relations. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I will, I will get more information on that. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and I will do that. I have to say, I'm really shocked that we know more about what's going on than our own government. I don't think you're shocked. Oh, I don't, yeah. I, no, 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 no. I, this I, is international news on the front page of every paper all over the world. Surely to God, these children and people are more important than budgets. Um, let me come back to the point that I've said that I am taking this directly to the minister. <clears throat> and you may not be satisfied with that, but that's what I'm doing. And I am going to ask you as a courtesy, though, uh, to, to leave the office now. And, and I hope that you will. And if you do, then I will promise to come back to you with, a, with, with the, my response next week. We are answer. their only voice. I understand that. I understand what you said. We're here for them. Understand that as well. If if this happened to my children, I would hope to God that someone else would sit in like we are today and do this for me. That's what I would hope for. That's what I would pray for. So today, out of respect for these people, out of respect for the women, 
the men, the children that have been killed over there, we will sit and we will wait until you speak to your minister. I would ask you politely to leave. Uh, I think that's the appropriate thing. I mean, at some point somebody goes to bed and I would be, uh, and, and my staff will leave and I will leave, and that would not be an appropriate uh, resolution for me. And I'm not, folks, I'm not trying to be inappropriate with you. I am not. If you feel this is your only answer by sitting here until such time, then, then you know, are, are you asking me to, to come back and give you the ultimatum stuff? And if you don't, then I'll, then I'll, then I'll, I'll ask the, the police to come in, because mm -hmm. they will. And, 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 you know, and, and, and you know what, but I don't want to take that kind of a position with you. You've been, you've been all polite, and, and no one's been inappropriate here. Uh, you've surprised me with this, and you have. Um, but having said it, I will genuinely do what I've said I'm going to do. But it, it, but it won't be with you staying in my office until such time as when I've spoken to the minister. That's not appropriate. So, can I suggest to you yeah, to please. keep trying to get I, the minister yeah. on the phone? It's hard to believe that. Um, I think when this hits, government uh, can officials press, can't can be press, reached. It might get uh, Mr. Cannon's staff attention, and they might get in touch with him. Folks, mm -hmm. you've heard what I've had to say. Mm -hmm. if, if, well, if you've heard what we have to say, which is, which is we were asking for you to yeah. choose your conscience over your caucus. So here's what I will do: is um, then I, I'm, I'm going to ask my staff to, to ask the police to come in and, and just ask you to be. From the office, and I'm sorry. I'm, you have no idea how sorry I am. But well, you have no me. idea how sorry we are, and because we really wanted you to lead on this and say to your party, "This is what we need to do, people. We are not, we are doing a huge disservice to Canadians, millions of Canadians that are ashamed at the position our government's taken on this issue." I think that, unfortunately, truly unfortunately.